What's up guys? Good morning. It's 8.05 in the morning. We gotta move. Millie is still passed out. So I'ma wake her up. She's supposed to be awake. She said she needed 10 more minutes. But she's still asleep, so I got a little surprise for her. She's gonna be pissed. Just watch. Ah! Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Ah! That's not funny. <laughs> it's time to wake up. Leave me alone. So I just got kicked out of the house from that little prank I did. Well, not prank, but a little surprise wake up because it's time to go. But anyways, I'm gonna get started. Millie is still um knocked out. I'm gonna get started with packing up. So we're gonna show you guys a little bit of what everything we gotta do to break down. Because today is moving day. So the first thing I usually do is um get the bikes up. We did that yesterday just to get a head start. So the bikes are up. Ready to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, flush the tank. I'm going to give it another flush. Not a full flush like I usually do, but I'm going to flush it out from the back. Usually I get the wand out. So we're going to go for a small drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave some water in there so it shakes it around and clean out all the gunk and whatever mess is in there. What I've got to do here is, well, the black tank we always keep closed, as you can see. I'm going to lock the gray tank. <sighs> keep them both locked. Turn the valve for the black tank. Close the valve for the fresh water. I hear walking. Let me just let you awake. All right, let's see what comes out of here. Not too bad. All right, guys. So, if you're wondering where we're at, we're in Florida, currently in Oakland Park, Florida. Uh, we've been here for about the last uh, the last month, I would say. But our time here is up because we booked everything at the last minute, not knowing where we were gonna be or where we were gonna go. All right, I hear walking inside, so I think Millie's awake. I think she's kind of pissed at me. Did the old-fashioned style, threw some water in her face while she was knocked out, and she was pissed. So let's go see what the mood is like inside. Bay, you awake? I am pregnant. Oh my God! Bay, what are you talking about? I'm not even lying. Man, I'm scared. <sighs> I gotta go. Alright guys, so Millie hasn't been feeling so good for the past couple weeks. She's been having pains and just not feeling well overall. So a couple weeks ago, about a week ago, we bought a pregnancy test just to see what, you know, if she's pregnant. Because she didn't get her period. So she woke up, I kind of scared her this morning to wake up, probably wasn't the best thing to do. We had another pregnancy test, so she took it and it came back positive. The pregnancy test didn't look too legit so i'm gonna run to the pharmacy i'm gonna go get another pregnancy test um just to be sure and if so we gotta we gotta really get it checked because this isn't supposed to be happening good morning guys so yeah you guys saw what tim did to me he woke me up with a splash of water and i was not very happy about it I'll run you guys through what i'm gonna be doing around the house just to kind of set up and get ready to move to the next park one thing that i do have to let you guys know my eyes are a little red and watery because i had a really tough morning um if i don't know if you guys can remember but from yesterday's blog i was not feeling very well i mean actually I haven't been feeling well for the past few weeks and um and i wasn't sure why i wasn't feeling well but i guess that's the reason i woke up and i was like i've been trying to open that pregnancy test all night and i couldn't open it so i left it on top of the sink and i was like you know what i'll take care of it in the morning so when i woke up when tim woke me up um i got a pair of scissors and i opened it and yeah that's the result and that makes a lot of sense on why i haven't been feeling well the past few weeks so we'll take you guys along the ride and see what happens okay 
this definitely was not planned. I was not expecting it. Um, anyway, so I started in the room, just pretty much organized the bed. And here, we'll just pretty much take everything off the counter and put it in, uh, in the sink or somewhere that's not gonna move or break. Anything that's breakable. I want some coffee so bad. So Tim is out there trying to purchase another pregnancy test just to see, to see if it's true. <laughs> Got the pregnancy test, let's do this. This for you? Yeah, man. <laughs> gotta, gotta see what's going on. Bam back, I got it. Good morning, man. So you were pissed at me earlier? Yeah. For waking you up? Yeah, you probably scared the baby out of me. Hey, so this is in the bathroom. I'm looking at her like, yo, you woke up like this, huh? So, we're gonna try the third test. The first was a negative, the second was sort of a positive. I told you this isn't supposed to be happening, so, so you're gonna check it out. No wonder I've been peeing like a cow. You've been peeing a lot, I mean, like, what the hell's going on? Yeah, you can test it two ways. Don't tell me yes. What's the... Okay, read the instructions. This is it, guys. Don't so get scared, now. Oh, this, this is the yes. So if it says no, then... Can you even be again? Did it show? Ew, wait, get some paper and wipe that. It's kind of wet. On this, on this, what you call it, side. It's just like a time thing ticking, I don't know. It just says two ways to test. Test first, then confirm. Wait, do that one. All right, guys, we failed at this. We did the test wrong. I'll be back. And the results are in. Mm. says yes. What are we going to do, babe? I don't know. Um, this is not supposed to be happening. I'm not supposed to be having any kids. Well, first thing is going to the doctor. All right, I'm going to continue on here with getting everything packed up and ready to go on the outside. So it's breakdown time. All right. Alright guys, so I'm almost wrapped up out here. Just gotta get the hitch put back on. Cause I remove it every time. I don't want that big ass thing sticking out. So got my little lock here. All right, so that's that. That's what the back looks like. Bunch of junk right now. 
All right, guys, I've done all I think I can outside until then he gets done on the inside. All right, guys, so we're pretty much about wrapped up. We are inside getting everything secured so that when we're driving, nothing flying all over the place. Uh, so as you can see, we got stuff on the couch. The counter's cleared up. What we can fit in the sink goes in the sink. The dinette is all broken down. Just threw stuff on top of it. That works. Millie is getting wrapped up, getting some packages done. And we just gotta move pretty much whatever we see here on the floor. And then bring the slides in and it's a wrap. Hey guys, we're getting ready to move to the next park. As you guys can see, Tim is already. We're all hooked up. Yeah, it's kind of like a tight spot to get out of here. If you guys can see, there's that car. You're good on that side. I'll pull this. Okay. You're good. Yeah, he's good. Okay. Okay. You're good, babe, on that side. You're good on this side and that side. Yeah. Just, right. just the situation with the black guy. That's it. <laughs> Guys, this is like nerf wracking. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Forgot. Thank you. So that's it guys, that's the breakdown and we're out of the park. Let's see if I make this light. So um, next stop is Eastland Park. We're about five minutes away, so. We shall see you guys shortly. I gotta drive and be safe, so I'll see you guys later.
So we're arriving and we've met our neighbor, but she's leaving. Yeah, if you can just move a little bit forward and then can I'll be able to back in. you yourself? Yeah, I, I used to. My husband's here now. We actually caravan because he was here and worked this week. Okay. So he needed the van and I was here with the kids. Time to back up. All right, babe. Camera. I'm going to go forward and I'm going to go all the way back to where you see on that sidewalk. And then I'm going to pull forward. Which side do you need me up. on? The Just So we're not even gonna do a full setup. We are just, um, we parked up, slides are out, jack stands are down, and we are off to the doctor. This is at one. Okay guys, so don't know if we can hit up the doctor because they closed early today. It's about to be one, and they close at 1.30 and the location is in Hollywood. All right guys, decision made. We are heading to the hospital, but we're heading to the hospital as an emergency. All right, y'all, so we haven't made it to the hospital yet. We are, uh, we stopped to get some food, um, cause you know how the hospital is sometimes. They won't, they won't feed you, you know, if they got you on anything or they're checking you out, especially going to the ER. We're gonna eat and then she'll be in the hospital. So I'll talk to y'all soon. Talk to y'all later. We got, still got a lot of things to do today. Gotta go get me ugly sweater. I gotta, um, oh my gosh, I gotta go finish taking care of the trailer. It's supposed to be going to a party tonight, so hopefully that still happens based on um, how things go. All right, guys, I'll see y'all soon. So it's 12 o'clock. We're still at the hospital. Millie did have to undergo surgery. It was an emergency surgery due to the pregnancy that she had. It was a bad pregnancy, so that's why she had to do surgery. They had to remove the baby from her fallopian tubes. It was an ectopic pregnancy, unfortunately. But as you know, thank God everything went okay with the surgery. Millie's doing, you know, she's doing a lot better. She was in a lot of pain. She still is in a lot of pain, but you know, as time goes by, she's getting a lot better. Our spirits are kind of down because, you know, it would have been a blessing if uh, you know we were to have a baby, it's not something we were ready for, uh, you know, due to the traveling and the things that we were doing. But if it was to happen, you know, we would have been definitely grateful. But you know, things took a turn. Unfortunately, like I said, it wasn't a good pregnancy. So thank God the surgery went well. You know, we couldn't do a few things. Or we couldn't continue the things we were going to do today because of uh, the situation. We were supposed to do an ugly sweater party. You guys saw, you know, we bought some sweaters and so forth. But um, that's all right. That's the least of our worries right now. What's important is that Millie, you know, gets better and she's doing better. Uh, and, you know, she, she can come home. We got to stay a night at the hospital because the doctor does recommend she stay at the hospital overnight because of, you know, how intense the surgery was. They had to do a few more things. Thank God, you know, the surgery went well. Things could have been worse if we actually waited to go to the hospital and get things checked out, it could have been a lot worse. So, you know, thank God we made that decision to, you know, go to the hospital and get it checked out. So we're gonna end the video here tonight at the hospital, but we'll see you guys next time. Just wanna thank you guys for tuning into this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. We will appreciate it. We have a lot more to bring to you guys. Just keep us in your prayers and we'll be moving forward. We just see this and 
you know, as a lesson learned, we take it as a blessing as well. Because at the end of the day, things could have been a lot worse. You know, that's where we think, see things every time. Like, things can be a lot worse. You know, there's people out there with, uh, you know, worse situations and, and, and things like that. So, sometimes we, we got to take the negative and then, you know, come out with the positive at the end of the day. So, again, thank you guys for tuning in. We love y'all. And we'll see y'all next time. So, later.